So not only did the MRI of the brain show fibromuscular dysplasia, but the appearance within the left renal artery are strongly suggestive of underlying fibromuscular dysplasia. Could be more accurately assessed, characterized by DSA. And it was characterized, and she was found to have fibromuscular dysplasia both in the brain and the kidney, both of which resolved completely. 2017, that says the appearance of the left cerebral hemisphere are in keeping with an established left MCA territory infarction unchanged from the previous MRI and that there were no interval, acute, subacute, or established infarctions elsewhere. The big thing I want you to point out is that last sentence says no evidence of residual internal carotid artery dissection or features of fibromuscular dysplasia. So this is an amazing difference compared to the previous scan. Hi, Catherine. Um, do you mind doing a YouTube video for our, our um, viewers? No, I don't mind at all. Good. Um, I appreciate that. So um, when did you have your stroke? Was it, uh, it was 2013, wasn't it? It was February the 11th. February 11th, 2013. And do you remember uh, much about your stroke? No, I, um, I couldn't talk when I woke up. I had it in my sleep and I um, couldn't talk um, there. Right, I remember um, when you came in, you couldn't talk and you also couldn't understand us. Yep. Do you remember what your first words were? I love you. I love you, that's right. And since then, you've been very involved with our stroke unit. Mm -hmm. yep. You've uh, been involved in a singing group. Yep. And can you tell the audience about some of the um, organization or one of the cl things that you've got involved with in the community? Um, I've been under 65 groups um, of stroke survivors and um, they're really good. And um, so that leaves every month and um, I'm involved in Coral O'Gavel Club which is um, meant to be the Corrie Road Club and I'm involved in Slow Talkers um, yeah. So Slow Talker Group, uh, Stroke Survivor Group under 65. Mm -hmm. So um, do you remember the diagnosis that you had, uh, you were given? A, pro a fibromuscular dysplasia. Fibromuscular dysplasia. Mm -hmm. And fibromuscular dysplasia is most commonly thought to be a genetic disorder and um, it involves other things than blood vessels in the brain but the kidney too. Mm -hmm. And your MRI showed it involved the brain and the kidney, didn't it? Yes. Okay, at least the initial ones did. Yeah, yeah. But the surprising thing is three years later, or, or four, more than three years later, five years yes, later, yes. five years later, your MRI showed that you no longer had fibromuscular mm -hmm. dysplasia. So is it okay that we show the audience your MRIs of your brain? Yeah. Yes, it certainly it is. Thank you very much. If we look at this image, we can see her eyeballs here. This is the right side over here. Here's the eyeballs, here's the nose. We go up and we start to see this area over here that's had her stroke. And we'll move it up towards the top of her head and you can see that area of stroke. But if we look at a different image of the same pictures, just the way they enhance it, again, here's the top of her head. Move further down, you can see the stroke is on the left side and it involves the auditory center, both a receptive component where she can understand what she hears and an expressive component where she tried to express herself. And in the beginning, she couldn't either understand or express herself. So quite a big stroke. And we just heard Catherine speaking a few minutes ago.